hello friends in this video I am going to show you how you can bind a combo box in visual basic.net to a SQL server database here I have a form and I have placed a combo box uh, on this form and its name is like CMBO box name of the combo box and uh, in Microsoft SQL Server I have created a database called YouTube where I have also created a uh, table called countries and inside the table countries let's switch to design view and this is the design here we have an ID field uh, its uh, primary key and it's auto incremented and countries the name of the countries and I have already enter some uh, records let's see Oops. these are the uh, records India Pakistan Nepal UK US and Sri Lanka now open your visual studio and on the uh, load event of uh, this form double click on it uh, first thing we need to uh, import some name sp spaces so first thing import system dot data and second one is import system dot data dot sql client okay <coughs> now we will declare a variable dim con as SQL connection and CMD as SQL command con equals we will create an object of this new SQL connection and server called local host then needs to data source data data source is called data source is the name of your so it is here server name compact PC so we will simply copy it right click copy and paste it over here control V to paste then we have also database name the name of the database which is YouTube and finally integrated security is called SSPI okay now in uh, the try block we will simply use dim SQL as string we are actually creating a variable a name uh, is SQL it's a string type and we need to select all the you know the re uh, records uh, from this country's table so select star from <coughs> countries now connection dot open cmd equal is called a new sql command which is sql and the name of the connection now we need to also because we are going to read all the records from the database so we need a sql data reader dim dr as sql data reader now cmbo box means the name of the combo box dot items dot clear this is if there is already any uh, item uh, in the combo box we uh, just want to clear that so do while we will now loop through the all the uh, records in the database table so while data reader dot read 
now data read data reader dot read we need combo box dot items dot add we need to add so data reader dot get values the name of the oh sorry the uh, field which is first dot to citrine we need this now <coughs> and try after enter we will simply close the connection con dot close we can also dispose it though it's not needed but it's a good practice to do it simply switch it to nothing that's it okay now uh, oops we just forgot here data reader uh, cmd dot execute reader we forgot to execute the reader now let's give it a try so this is the combo box and all the records are uh, loaded in this combo box so it's here <coughs> Let us simply uh, add one more item, edit top, this is USS Rush, let's type Canada, okay, now let's run it again, run it, yes, it's working properly so it's very simple all you need to do is uh, this query select start from countries the table name is countries and then uh, uh, you know that execute that reader and then uh, read all the records from this database table and add them to combo box so i hope uh, you like this video thank you so much